Bust down Rolly for the hell of it It's my time to shine, spotlights is my element Fuck a plain Jane, don't insult my intelligence I don't plan on selling it, so I don't see the relevance Them niggas having porn shop nightmares I'm light years ahead of niggas, even on a light year Don Perignon, stain the laces of my night years Born poor, but I'ma die rich, nigga, life's fair Let's start there, right? Isn't that what ghosts mean? Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay, so he was seen everywhere because his credits was everywhere. Producing, producing, not track making. Kanye was a beat maker when I made him, when I met him. A beat maker. I'm the producer. I was making better records than he was at the time. He wasn't even around when his song was made. I think he made a video and said, I sent D-Dot the beat, next thing you know, here's Eminem on the record. How do you produce that? Mm. Got it. Mm. So it's the difference between beat making and producing. He created a fantasy for his people that he actually sat in there and him and Eminem was making this thing and he did all this shit and I sat there with, Holding my dick. <laughs> <laughs> Produced by D Dot. <sighs> Suck a dick. To all you journalists that have been running with that ghost producing shit, it's the dumbest shit I ever heard. You have to be in the room to be a producer. He was not. Ask him. Call him. He was not. You're not a producer, homie. And there was no such thing as ghosts. It happened one time. Here's the story. Kanye would send beats from Chicago. He moved to New York. Let's, let's talk about this real quick. The Netflix yeah. joint starts off with him at a Jermaine Dupri party. Right. What year was that? 98. And who was he with? At the beginning, the very beginning of the thing, he's with Mace. And he was interviewing him, right? How the fuck is Kanye with Mace? D dot. Hmm. So we skipped the first chapter of the movie. Right. And go right to Kanye's already with Jermaine Dupri and Mace. How? Hmm. For every effect, there's what? Cause. A cause. Right. And a B cause. <laughs> so he moves to New Jersey. I meet his mother. He's in Jersey because of me, not because of Rockefeller, to be closer to the game. Because D-Dot is schooling him on record making, not beat making. It's easy to sit in the room and send your beat out and say, I produced that. No, you didn't. You did the beat. When do instrumental albums sell by themselves? Somebody has to go in and do the actual work. He did none of that. Ghost producing. Ridiculous statement, dumbest statement I ever heard. <laughs> now, the one time his name didn't appear was because he sent the beat pack and I was working on Nas's album. Y'all might have heard this record that came out with Nas on the streets illegal. I want to get high, high. He was rapping. Mm -hmm. I did that. But I also gave him three Kanye beats. And he did songs to him. And they never came out. I sat in the room with him. We did these records. Kanye's is wherever he's at. He don't even know these shit's going on. The album never comes out. A few years later, there's this album that comes out called Lost Tapes. Mm. They don't call, ask for no credits. They don't call for nothing. Just produced by D-Dot. So that's the one song his name didn't appear on. Wow. And I instantly went and corrected it and called. But back then, it wasn't internet where you can just change the credits and it's changed tomorrow. Right. They can't change it. You got to change CD covers. You got to do all this other right, shit. Right, that right. was on them. Right. They didn't pick up the phone and call me and say, what's the credits to the record? And, and it they, was years they later. they didn't a new set of records. Yeah, they had to go through all of that. No and it was years to... later and it was called The Lost Tape. So they found Papa Was A Player sitting in the folder. So that's why he didn't get credit for that. Mm -hmm. Not my fault. His name is next to my name on every record we did together. Also not and he got intention. all his money, huh? I said also not your intention. And also not my intention, because I didn't even know this shit was coming out. Right. Right. So they thought you produced it. 
I did produce it. He did the beat. Right. So we produced it together. It's called a right. co-production, not a ghost production. Right. It's called co-producing. But his name, credit. his name wasn't his on His name it. wasn't on that one song. Right. And it was because when I did it in 98, whatever year I did it, it didn't come out to whatever year the Lost Tapes came out. Mm -hmm. So he felt a certain kind of way about he that? He felt a certain kind of way. But he obviously, in his management, obviously, no, that wasn't a Derek doing mm -hmm. because we're, we're, we can find this information out. It's not a Masonic thing. He can call up there, <laughs> there, call up there and find out. This is something simple. And again, not my intention. Right. So, but a narrative got ran with to where some of these scrap stab suckers are running with ghost producing. But let's fast forward. If he did ghost produce for me, let's just say that was the case. What is Mike Dean for him? Mm. Mm. Well, did I answer my question? No, because he knows. It's a rhetorical question. It's a rhetorical question. It's a rhetorical question, meaning that nigga created a narrative that the purists run with because that's what they want. They want to separate themselves. So they needed anything to latch on to. Did I rob them of his beats? Let's run with that. Me? The rock? Give up? The box? Remember that? Nigga, I'm D Dot, nigga. Bro. I run circles around some of these niggas. I don't need to do that. I put you on and we co-produced. So they needed to run with that. And so they still do to this day. As if Kanye did the Benjamin, Money, Power, Respect. Have you ever heard that come out his mouth? Never. He gets smacked if he says some shit like that. Mm. Cause that's disrespectful. Mm -hmm. That's like me saying I did flashing lights. Mm. Mm. He did none of the beats that I'm famous for. Mm -hmm. He wasn't even around when them beats was made. For the record. But for the record, what, what did you actually teach him? Sounds. What goes with what? I mean, don't get it wrong. He was already genius in the making. Let's mm -hmm. not get it twisted. He's not, he wasn't some clay and I just molded this nigga. Nah, he was already who he was. It was just adding on. Right. It was just additions. He was already, I, that's what attracted me to him. It, this, this is not, I didn't create this man. No, I'm never saying that. He was already a genius in the making. Mm -hmm. He just needed to fine tune it, just like all geniuses do. The greatest feeling in the world was holding my own gun. I'm hypertensive, but all my decisions been wholesome. My independence had me flipping on siblings I stole from. Said I'm just big and loud. Well, half a pound is my solid treatment. I punched out plugs I could have stopped from eating. Jackie Gleason on the TV while his mama's sleeping. That plate was made, or he got that chick filet like she Polynesian. The fucking niggas do to me though. So I stand there blinded while my jewelry glows.